Hello dear student, welcome back once again. My name is Paras Kalaria and I am taking your advanced web designing subject. Let us understand in today's session how this subject is particularly arranged or what is the syllabus. So there are mainly five units, subject is divided into five units as you can see on the screen. Now let us see one by one all the units. In unit number one, as you can see, the first unit is comprises of installation of XAMPP and MySQL queries. So in this unit, you are going to give brief about how to install XAMPP and different different MySQL queries like insert, update, delete, select, normalization and join operation. In next unit number two, you are going to introduce for the very first time introduction to PHP. In this we are going to study what is PHP, basic syntax of PHP and from basic to advanced concepts like how to manage session and cookies in PHP. In next unit you are going to combine concepts of PHP and MySQL together. So whatever we had designed web pages in PHP, how we can support that PHP page using MySQL backend database that we are going to learn in this particular unit. And we are going to see different page constructions like registration page, login page and how to manage session and cookies using PHP. In unit number four, we are going to make our website more interactive using JavaScript. Different concepts of JavaScript like starting from how to make variables, operators, control statements, etc. to defining functions and using regular expression for validation purpose. We are going to see all this in this unit number 4 and at the end of unit number 4 you are also introduced with the fundamentals of JSON and Ajax, how we can use JSON and Ajax in our PHP pages. In the last unit, the very advanced concepts of PHP that is MVC architecture, model view controller architecture. In this unit, you are also going to introduce how we are going to manage all the PHP fundamentals, OOPS fundamentals using MVC structure. So basically we are going to study structure MVC and uh, we are also going to uh, learn once again this functionalities which we had earlier learned in unit number 3 using MVC architecture in unit number 5. So this is how the whole unit 1 to 5 is arranged. Uh, let me also brief some of the textbook or reference book required for our subject. These are the textbook which I uh, refer you for the reference purpose. Of course you can learn from other textbooks and reference books also but as per our syllabus you can go through this textbooks and uh, reference material and uh, other than that online learning resources are also available there are plenty of resources available during our live interaction uh, as per our timetable we are also discussing this online learning resources which are available for our uh, subject so this is it in this session we learned how our syllabus is arranged in total five unit and all the units I briefed up in this session. In next session we are going to learn how we are going to see uh, this particular subject using different learning methodologies, labs etc. and then onwards we will start from the first topic, topic of unit number one. So that is it, uh, see you in the next lecture, thank you very much.